we will be feeling the impacts of the Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak Fire for years, economically, emotionally, and also biologically. Yeah, because we are now seeing some of the fire's consequences on New Mexico's wildlife. Ryan Laughlin has looked into that devastation today, and Ryan, you know, some New Mexicans are trying to do something about it. They are, Tessa. Think about it. Over 300,000 acres have burned. That's more than twice the acreage of the entire city of Albuquerque. And the impacts on the animals that used to live in that burn scar, they're going to be far reaching. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. A surprise to boaters. On Ute Lake, north of Tucumcari, but not a surprise for New Mexico Game and Fish. Typically, it is the younger bears that are going to be out and about. Tristana Bickford says this is the time of year younger bears are moving after hibernation, but she says it's impossible to say whether wildfires pushed this bear out of its den. Bears love water. In a world that is survival of the fittest. All these different animals that are involved in the environment Got killed. Got killed. Veterinarian Kathleen Ramsey says smaller animals inevitably perished in our state's largest wildfire. She says she had to put down a red hawk injured in the wildfires, but at least one elk calf is considered quite lucky. This little baby we have right now, Mr. Cinder, he actually has some burns down in his ear canal, but those are the only burns that we have. She's in the process of rehabbing Cinder to be released back into the wild. And she says because elk are giving birth this time of year, it's critical to get control of these fires quickly. The 2001 and 2011 fires taught us a lot about what we can rehabilitate and get back into the wild. Game and Fish says they have wildland biologists ready to go into these wildfire scars to see the real impacts on the ecosystems, but it's way too soon to really understand the full impacts as this fire is still growing. Guys.